In May of 2022, I'm going to be at the 365 EduCon conference in Seattle, and I'm presenting a full day workshop and a handful of sessions for Microsoft 365 and Azure professional developers. Hey, I'm Andy Powell. This episode is also available as a blog post on Voitanos.io and as a podcast on Voitanos.show. Check out the description below the video for links to these other resources. This conference is also known as, uh, or formerly known as SPFest, um, and this is going to be an end up, it's going to be a great show. Um, not only is it expected to be a great show, but I'm personally especially excited uh, because it's the first in-person conference for me since the world stopped in early 2022 due to the COVID-19 pandemic. So I can't wait to see old friends and interact with attendees uh, that are at the event. Um, one of the biggest reasons that I like these 365 EduCon conferences is the size. It's an ideal size for the attendees and the speakers to interact. Um, this is commonly referred to as like the hallway track where attendees and speakers have the opportunity to interact and expand on uh, topics that are covered in the session or just general networking stuff. Um, so make sure that you take advantage of this. Uh, I've got a, as I said, I've got a full uh, day workshop that I'm presenting in a handful of breakout sessions. So let me tell you a little bit about this workshop. Um, this workshop, it's the code name for it is WRK402 uh, Developers. Learn how to use the SharePoint framework to customize and extend SharePoint. This workshop is all about using the SharePoint framework. So the best way that you can customize and extend your SharePoint sites is using the SharePoint framework. And that's true for both on-prem and uh, SharePoint online sites. Um, this model is the only way that you're going to be able to customize the SharePoint modern experience in SharePoint Online. And in fact, it's also the only way that you're going to be able to customize uh, Viva Connections, which is all backed by SharePoint Online. So if you're an experienced solution-based SharePoint developer or you're brand new to the SharePoint framework or SharePoint platform, um, this workshop is perfect for you. You're going to learn how to get started installing everything that you need on your workstation for developing with the SharePoint framework before we dive into building solutions. And by the end of the day, you're gonna know how to build web parts, single page apps, as well as various types of extensions, including application customizers, field customizers, and list view command sets. Now, I've taught this workshop um, multiple times in the past at previous SP Fest conferences uh, as well, but it's been a while since I've taught it. And so what I've done is I've, for this conference, I've poured a lot of time into revamping and refreshing it. Um, I've taken a lot of the content or some of the content from my uh, my long 30, 40 hour uh, on demand course uh, on mastering the SharePoint framework um, to really go through and to revamp this and make it a much better resource than it was before or a much better experience than it was before. If you're just getting started with the SharePoint framework, if you have little or moderate experience with SharePoint framework, this workshop is also for you. You're gonna learn everything you need to know on how to get started with the SharePoint framework, as I said earlier, but I'm even gonna spend some time demonstrating how you can use React to build your custom components. And we're gonna do it using the latest way of building components for React using React hooks. Plus, I'm also gonna give attendees an exclusive deep discount opportunity uh, to register and sign up for my Mastering the SharePoint Framework on Demand course. It's got 35 hours of um, instruction and, hand, and um, uh, instructor led de uh, de demos um, that you can have access to. So uh, if you're at the workshop, I mean, it's you're going to we can spend an entire day together, um, but I go in a lot more depth for a lot more stuff if you want to learn a whole lot more. So that's my workshop. I hope that you you know consider uh, signing up for it. If you got a question about it, please feel free to you know ping me. I'm at Andrew Connell or at Boitanos uh, on Twitter. Best way to get a hold of me. Uh, and I'm happy to go through and answer your questions. Now, I've also got a couple breakout sessions that I'm doing at this conference. Um, I've got one on building Microsoft Teams apps using the SharePoint framework. That's SPD 102. Um, now, did you know as a SharePoint framework developer, you can leverage your existing skills to build apps for Microsoft Teams? So in this session, I'm going to show you how to do that. You're going to learn how you can use those skills um, and knowledge in building SPFX apps to build custom tabs, maybe personal apps, meeting apps, and even custom Microsoft to build your custom Microsoft Teams apps. So you can see how you can leverage all of that stuff. And then I'm going to talk a little bit more about um, Azure Functions. 
So in my session called Implement a Robust Continuous Integration and Continuous Deployment Process for Azure Functions Using GitHub Actions, that's AZR203. Um, GitHub Actions enable developers to automate repetitive and oftentimes complex manual tasks. So in this session, um, you're going to learn how you can use GitHub Actions to create a robust CI and CD process to not only uh, test and roll out your Azure functions, but you're even going to create a structured release process with GitHub releases. That's how I do it for all of my Azure functions um, on my production stuff. And then my last breakout session is all about Azure App Insights. This is AZR302. Um, it's adding telemetry and monitoring to your Microsoft 365 apps. It's not just limited to SharePoint framework. It's not just limited to Teams. It's any, any, Share, any Microsoft 365 app. Um, I'm going to use SharePoint framework in most of my demos here, though. So you've built this web app, which is what every Microsoft 365 app is. But do you know how well it's running or or you know, if you, what about your Microsoft Teams and SharePoint apps? Do you know how people are actually using it? So in this session, you're going to learn what Azure App Insights is, a service from Azure that you, and what you can do with it. Um, it's easy to set up App Insights with some live analytics, but did you know that you can go set up things like your own custom dashboards and alerts to monitor the health of your application? And that's not all. You can also use App Insights to also track logging data, custom app events, or creating um, uh, tracking custom events in your application, and even track the telemetry of specific users. Be careful. We've got to make sure that that's okay with like your privacy policies with your organization. But I'm going to show you how to do it. Whether you choose to do it, that's up to you. Um, I hope to see you at this conference. Um, make sure that you register before March 18th um, because the, for the next few weeks um, they're running an early bird special where you can save a bunch of money. So just you can pick the package that works best for you, either the entire conference or just a breakout session or just a workshop or even just a one day uh, pass if you just want to go to my workshop. At any rate, I hope to see you there. Come up and say hi if you're at the conference so we can have a chat. You got a question or a comment? Let me know what you think by dropping a comment in the video below or tweeting me at Andrew Connell or at Voitanas. And if you like this episode, man, I'd really appreciate it if you'd share it with the rest of your friends. This episode, as I said earlier, is also available as a blog post on Voitanos.io and on the Voitanos podcast at Voitanos.show. I've included links in the description below to these other resources. And hey, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and click that little bell in the corner to be notified of future episodes.